Hello, I'm Lawrence for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. With the release of Android 11, there's lots of improvements in privacy, and there's even better control and transparency for users, as well as APIs that will help your apps handle data responsibly. Many of the improvements will reinforce modern best practices, and at the blog post you'll look into four of these, including handling content URI sharing, incremental permission requests, accessing sensitive data in the foreground, and using resettable parameters. So go check it out at the link in the description or swipe up on Instagram. Also with Android 11, the GPU inspector has graduated to become an open beta. This tool is really useful to help you find performance bottlenecks in your apps that use a GPU on Android. It shows a timeline of events for your running code, including system activities, high-frequency GPU hardware counters, and if you're using the Vulkan APIs, you can also see GPU activity information. You can check it out at the Android developer's blog. Angular has a new rendering engine called Ivy, and this includes a new approach to localizing text and how you can extract and translate text. This new approach is based around tagging strings in your code with a literal tag handler called string localize. Then any strings that need to be localized are marked just using that. Go learn more about it at the Angular blog. A common application of machine learning is in creating recommender systems. And while purely server-based ones are proven, a mobile recommender system that works entirely on a device can be more personal, it can enjoy lower latency, and it might be able to operate much faster than server-side ones. In a blog post on the TensorFlow blog, the team have introduced a new open-source end-to-end solution that you can actually adapt and learn from. The source is all there, so go try it out. Also in TensorFlow is a new TensorFlow Lite task library. If you've tried to build ML on mobile devices, there's often a lot of complex logic to handle things like data conversion, pre and post processing, loading files, and a whole lot more. The task library is a set of model interfaces that handle a lot of this for you in a set of common scenarios like image classification and segmentation, object detection, and natural language processing. In some cases, inference on models can now be done with as few as five lines of code, so go check it out. So that's all for this week. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Lawrence for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.